Hi, I'm here to give you a primer on lung cancer. Now, lung cancer is important because it is the leading cause of cancer-related death in this country. Now, if we start at the Adam's apple up here, the windpipe descends into the chest, and the windpipe splits into a right side and a left side. There are three branches off the right side of the windpipe and two off the left. Now off each branch of the windpipe come the lungs. You have an upper part of the lung called the upper lobe, and on the right side a middle part of the lung called the middle lobe, and on the bottom part on the right side you have the lower lobe. So you have three lobes on the right side, and on the left side there are only two lobes of lung that emanate off the windpipe. Now right in between the two lungs is the heart just to give you some orientation. Lung cancer in our populations generally start as a spot, usually in the upper part of the lungs. It's the most common presentation of lung cancer. The problem is that shortly after its beginning, the, a cancer in the lung has access to a variety of small lymph glands or lymph nodes that happen to sit very close to the windpipe here. And these lymph glands extend all the way up. And that generally is the first mode of lung cancer spread. Lung cancer, unfortunately, because of the high blood flow to the lungs, has access to spread outside of the lungs to other parts of the body. And the most common places are the liver, bones, and the brain. When we think about treatments for lung cancer, what matters is what the stage of cancer is at the time of its diagnosis. And if we just have a cancer that's presenting as a spot in the lung, without any evidence of spread to local lymph nodes or spread anywhere in the body, this would be called a stage one lung cancer. And the most common treatment for stage one lung cancer is to remove that segment of lung from which the cancer arose. That's called a lobectomy.